you're going to roll your shoulders back and come down into the feet, pressing the heels, inner and outer heels, balls, inner and outer, so the big toe mounts to the pinkies. And as you stand, pressing into the feet, the feet now become an extension of what you just learned about your sit bones how they really move down into gravity. So the heels really push down into gravity. The balls of the feet push down into gravity. And I want you to see, even though it's a little hard to feel sometimes, pressing the feet and lifting up through the kneecaps and lifting the chest. And I should say, by the way, if you have low back or knee issues, your feet should be hip distance apart. Otherwise, your feet should be heels together, balls of the feet together. Pregnant also, feet hip distance. So as you press down into Tadasana Mountain Pose, you're pushing and becoming sort of earthbound, really digging your mountain into the earth as you lift up through the side ribs, lift up through the chest, lift up through the crown of the head, take a steady breath in, not so much a deep breath, but a steady breath. And just observe the energy and the space that comes into the chest. This pose we will use all night to recover after we explore poses that look different and feel different from this, always coming home to the mountain. <laughs> 